Mystery surrounds us wherever we go. It seems that each time we learn more about reality and the universe, there are only more secrets and questions that emerge. Like some sort of hydra of knowledge, after we learn and begin to solve one mystery, more simply take its place, and there is no place that mystifies us more than space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going through three interesting space mysteries that have hit our radar and have us scratching our heads. The White Dwarf with an Off Switch Space researchers have witnessed a white dwarf star suddenly switching on and off for the first time. Like some sort of galactic light switch, the little star was seen losing and gaining its brightness over a relatively short amount of time. The astronomers at Durham University in the UK were using a NASA satellite, specifically the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and what they found was astonishing. For the uninitiated, a white dwarf star is a planet-sized star that is incredibly dense. White dwarfs form when a larger star has burnt through its inner resource of nuclear fuel. White dwarfs are typically the size of our Sun, and their volume is similar to that of Earth. This specific flickering white dwarf was feeding from another star that was orbiting nearby, the scientists explained. The observed white dwarf was recorded as dimming in brightness within the span of half an hour. This surprised the researchers, as white dwarfs in this feeding period usually lose their brightness over much longer periods of time, from weeks to even months. So seeing change on such a short time span, especially when it comes to space, is very interesting indeed. So what is the reason behind this interstellar on and off switch? The researchers behind the discovery noted that the level of light emitted from a white dwarf depends on how much available food the star has surrounding it. It is because of this that the researchers believe that something must be interrupting the star's supply of food, momentarily cutting it off before allowing access again. The star in question is housed in a system called TW Pictoris, which is around 1400 light years away from Earth. Researchers hope that this discovery could lead to greater understanding around the physics of accretion, which is the scientific name behind the previously mentioned feeding. Soon, scientists may know more about how objects like stars and black holes feed on nearby materials. So many black holes. We are quite used to seeing amazing images taken of the night sky. Whether from typical cameras or special astronomical equipment, we are all familiar with huge black panoramas decorated in thousands, if not millions, of little white dots. From movies to textbooks, and even simply staring up to the night sky, it is a scene that we have all seen countless times. But scientists at the University of Hamburg have created such an image with a bit of a different background. The image, which shows a wedge of space covered in thousands of white spots, is actually a photograph of thousands of supermassive black holes. That's right, every last one of those stars is actually a supermassive black hole sitting at the heart of a galaxy. Totaling years of accumulating work, the researchers have succeeded in making the most detailed map of black holes at low radio frequencies to date. The team used innovative techniques to create the image, specifically a method of converting radio signals into images of the sky. The difficulty in photographing black holes lies in, well, their colour. The black holes themselves are void of anything perceptible, and scientists rely on the after-effects of the black hole's behaviour to detect them. When a black hole is feeding, then the accreting material spooling off from nearby planets, stars and other objects is a telltale sign. The team used an impressive tech setup to take the photo, specifically the low-frequency array in Europe. Built across the whole span of Europe, the network of tech is made up of 20,000 individual radio antennas over 52 locations. LOFAR is currently the only network of its kind, and no other network can offer the same sort of imaging of the sky. The now famous photo was taken using frequencies below 100 MHz, and is only 4% of the northern sky. Ultimately, the plan is to map the entirety of the northern sky 
through the LOFAR LBA Sky Survey. As the methods and network improve based upon this first stage of development, researchers hope that they will gain new data on celestial objects, eventually measuring objects beneath 50 MHz. The Mysterious Hut on the Moon Perhaps a sign of a pizza PR campaign gone rogue, or perhaps a sign of intelligent life, the astronomical world was sent into a bit of a frenzy when China's far-side lunar rover, U-22, photographed what appeared to be a small structure on the moon. The moon is no stranger to strange photography. Back in 2013, an image of a face was taken on the moon's south pole. Looking more similar to a few bumps in the moon's surface than a face, the image was actually picked up during the International Space App Challenge 2013 Tokyo where tech using facial recognition noticed some human-esque features in the lunar crevices. And while the face on the moon probably did not impress even the most eager of alien believers, the moon hut definitely piqued the interest of a lot of people. Philip Stuke, a professor and adjunct research professor in the Department of Geography and Institute for Earth and Space Exploration at the University of Western Ontario, had something to say. It's just a rock on a crater rim north of the rover's last night parking location. Other images taken by U-22 showed a more detailed look at the hut-shaped object on the moon's far side. Stuk continued to add, Chinese media are very eager to find all sorts of strange things on the moon. We tend to think they are all tightly controlled and just repeat the party line, but there is a ton of stuff spinning every news item into a sensational headline, alien bases, millions of tons of priceless metals or unspecific substances, conspiracies about Western interests in space and everything else. Just like Western media tabloids, there are many publications and outlets that are willing to run with a story no matter how outlandish it might seem, and the media in China is no different. I am not surprised that a rock which, in low-resolution images, looks roughly square and is played up as a hut or other type of building. Specifically, the rock could be interesting, and I expect it or nearby rocks on the crater rim to be studied in detail when they reach it in early 2022, but it won't look like a hut, Stuke said. Unfortunately, it seems that this might be a case of history repeating itself. Many recognize the story of the face on Mars, which years later was just shown to be a mixture of low-resolution photography and shadows caused by Martian mountain ridges. It seems that once we have closer photos of the so-called hut, it is likely to be the rim of a crater or other naturally occurring lunar geography. Still, for those who are eager to find evidence of aliens, this little lunar hut might be a talking point for some time. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.